two songs which I hope you can enjoy listening to and singing along with, participating. Um, I hope it enhances how you understand the message and the Bible verses in the service today. And I pray that the service is a blessing to you. We're going to kick it off with our first song and over to you, band. We're going to begin today by singing Let the Praises Ring. This is one that we've sung many times at Music Ministry in the Steeple, so it's an oldie but a goodie. And it's one that we can open ourselves up to uh, praising God, to committing our life to him and allowing him to bless us. So join us as we sing, let the praises ring. One, two, three. already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. 
When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. This is the word of the Lord. Hi everyone, I'm Jess. Um, I was asked today to share a devotion with you and some thoughts and ideas that I have um, on one of the texts that I've been reading. So one of the readings for today is from Matthew and it's the story of when Jesus walks on water. Um, my job, I'm an early childhood teacher and I quite often read uh, these stories with the children and, and this is one that I've shared many times and when, when I discuss it with the children, I always focus on um, the disciples about how amazed they were when they saw Jesus walking on the water towards them. They thought it was a ghost. They weren't sure what they were seeing. And then when they realized it was Jesus and he called out to them, he said, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Um, Peter came out of the boat and he walked on the water towards Jesus, but then he began to doubt. He got distracted by what was around him and the waves and the wind and what was going on I'm walking on water and who am I and 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 he started to sink um and I think we always come back to with the children that when I read this story that about trusting Jesus he's there for us and he loves us and and then at times it might that might be a, um we don't scratch the surface too deeply with that story sometimes because we're wanting to drive the point across to children that we can trust Jesus he's there for us and he loves us um what really stood out to me was the word take courage. Courage is something, um, when it comes to my mind, straight away I think of being brave. It's that physical aspect, but there's courage. You can have social courage and moral courage, emotional courage, intellectual courage, and the spiritual aspect too, which is about your faith and purpose and your meaning. And um, when I was reading this, that just kept jumping out at me, the take courage. And because we get so distracted in our lives. There's so much noise going on, white noise, if you want to call it that. We have um, we have work. Um, we have what we're seeing in social media, on the TV, on the news at the moment, and particularly coronavirus and all the impacts of that, not just here in Australia and where we live, but around the world. And we um, think about a lot of the, yeah, the roll-on effect that this is having in our community. And it gets, it can get us down. It can, we can have doubts. We can have fear, and it is really scary what's going on. But we should never lose sight of Jesus. He's there for us. He's got it in hand. He knows what's to come, and it can be really hard to trust that. And I think having courage um, in Jesus also means that we we are trusting Him and we have that faith. And um, there's sometimes a peace and serenity that comes when we let go when we give that to jesus we give him our fears we know that it's going to be okay because he's there for us but it's not always easy to let go of those things it's not always easy to just willingly trust that that's faith sometimes not not knowing what's ahead not knowing um what the next day is going to bring the next week the next month but we know that jesus has it in hand we know that he's there for us he has his hands reaching out just like he did for peter when he came out the boat jesus was there he had his arms reached out he said come to me so jesus he always has his arms reached out for us he wants us to come to him he he loves us so much and he's he died for us on the cross and he's promised us that he's going to be with us always he'll never forsake us and he loves us so much and if we always get back to the take courage it is i don't be afraid 
Jesus is there. He's got his arms reached out. All we need to do is come to him. And we know that it will be okay. He's always got it in hand and he always will. He knows what lies ahead. And sometimes, you know, where we're sitting, we can't always see the bigger picture. Um, already, like I think about what's going on in the world, there are some really horrible things and scary things going on. But there's always a silver lining weaved in everything. God has his hand in it. Jesus has his hand in it. And I see in the news every day, there's beautiful stories of people um, helping one another, loving one another, giving their time, volunteering. We've got people on the front lines in healthcare who are busting themselves to, you know, to find a cure for the coronavirus for a vaccination. Um, we have, uh, if I use the word essential workers um, in our country and all around the world that everybody's doing their bit. Um, and when we trust Jesus, we know that it's going to be okay. We know that he's got it in hand and Jesus uses all of us when we trust him and we reach out our arms to him too. And we say, use me, he will do that. And I look around and I see what's happening in the news. I see it with the children that I work with in my kindergarten. I see it when I go shopping, I see the love that Jesus has for everybody. And he uses people to show others that love. Um, and all that we need to do is come to him, just like he says, come to me, don't be afraid, take courage. And if we take that step towards Jesus, he'll embrace us. And we know that it will be okay. So I would encourage you to take that leap of faith, to take courage as we know that Jesus is there. And we know that we'll be okay. Um, that is a promise that he's made to us. And we, we don't need to forget it. He'll always be there. And I think that's something we can really hold on to. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day. So the last song that we're going to sing today is called Great I Am Lord. This song announces just how great our God is and it reminds us that even the breath that we breathe is because of our God. So will you join us as we praise him singing Great I Am Lord.
Thanks again so much for worshipping. It's been a great pleasure. Uh, this week, I encourage you to let Jesus into your life and let him rule over your life and let Jesus show you the way and show you where you need to go, where Jesus wants you to go. Amen. See you later. See you, Matthew. Bye, Matthew. Bye, Daniel.